Alright, I'm gonna do a little quick video. I don't know why my videos aren't quick, but try to do quick. Review on my shotgun. It's a Mossberg 88, the Maverick model. And it is basically Mossberg's entry level shotgun. A um, little quick background story I was in the market for either a Mossberg 500 or a Remington 870. Now, Remington 870 is what I used to shoot trap with back in high school. So that was what I was familiar with, but being left-handed, I figured the Mossberg 500 would be a better option because it has a tan safety. As opposed to a cross bolt safety. However, given circumstances, COVID and all their gibberish going about nowadays, uh, couldn't find any of that, and if I found one used, it was pretty much beat to shit. So, had rust on it, hadn't been cleaned in years sort of thing, and just not worth my time. Or it was just overpriced, and the condition wasn't very good. So, there's that. Uh, $240, I got this gun, which came with this 18-inch barrel here. Cylinder choke or cylinder bore, and then a modified choke 28-inch bird barrel. So let's just uh, get on into it. Um, off the bat, when I got home, because I wanted to go through manual arms and using this weapon, I went to load it. In the process of loading it, put one in the chamber, Shut the slide. Put one, put two, went to put a third in, and it would not fit. I'm like, huh. Either that's a really stiff spring or something's inside the magazine tube. So I did that for about five or ten minutes and got sick of it and looked at the paperwork. To make the gun legal for transport or import in this country, uh, and to make it basically fall in line with the federal and international waterfall laws, every shotgun that holds more than a uh, total of three rounds has a plug. When I found that out, took the barrel out, shook the magazine tube, and the plug fell out, and that's all that was in there. So that restricts your capacity to two in the tube and one chamber for a total of three rounds. Take that out, and the capacity of this gun is five in the tube, one in the chamber for a total of six, and that is using two and three quarter inch shells. The gun holds two and three quarter and three inch shells. Will not chamber three and a half, says so on both barrels. Um, with that being said, if you go to a three inch, just take basically one out of the equation. So it'll, instead of holding five in the tube, it'll hold four in the tube, one in the chamber. Give or take, okay? Um, I've gone over that in a different video of how shotgun shell sizes vary, even though they're supposed to be the same size. Um, it's an approximation. Uh, what else do we got? Safety. It's a cross bolt safety. Not what I was looking for, but for the price, fine by me. And with training, you get used to using that type of safety, being left-handed the way I do it. Well, shut the slide. Have a sling. Uh, let's see here. Should be in frame, we'll see. Turn the target, unsling my gun, shoulder it, disengage the safety, and now I'm ready to shoot. If I'm right handed, and it's like this turn the target, unsling the gun, shoulder it. Now, the way it's set up for right-handed people is if you put a shooting grip on your gun, you can, if your finger's long enough, 
disengage the safety. Now I have tiny little hands, so I have to reach to do that. Um, but there's that. Sighting system, uh, the 18 inch barrel is a brass bead. Uh, the 28 inch barrel, it is a two bead system. You have a brass bead about halfway up and then you have a white dot on the tip. Um, for what they are, they're accurate. Now, it is not recommended, but I have done it for deer season when I went to sight this in with slugs. I did use that 28 inch barrel and people will be up in arms about that. Technically, you're not supposed to shoot slugs through a choked barrel. To each their own, okay? I understand the reasonings. Um, I have my own reasoning for doing that. Uh, which, under more thought, probably doesn't make a huge difference. Um, particularly at the ranges I'm shooting. Okay, um, most shotgun barrels, unless you have a rifled slug barrel, are smooth bore. There's no rifling. So whether birdshot, buckshot, slugs, there's no rifling. On slugs, I'm not going to cut these apart to show you, but these are rifled slugs. They have, when they're cast, they have rifling kind of put into them. They have grooves, which in theory will put a slight spin on the bullet. Um, the choke of a modified choke barrel or a full choke barrel, you can put an argument of to whether or not you shoot sluts through them. Uh, I digress. 18 inch barrel is technically your slug barrel for this particular gun. And it's just basically your tactical defense length barrel. Moving around the house, that sort of thing. More maneuverable, uh, more up close and personal. The 28 inch barrel is meant for small game hunting and birds. Something that you're using bird shot for it's modified choke, so you're going to have a little bit of a tighter groove. And with a 28 inch barrel, that groove is going to be tight at a longer distance. Um, this particular gun, because of the price range of under $300, only has your beaded sight. It is not pre tapped for an optic. Can you go to a gunsmith and have it tapped and that sort of thing? Yeah. Am I? Maybe. Right now? No. Uh, works just fine as it is, and I have no reason to put a scope on it. Any shot that I'm taking hunting is going to be 100 yards and less, more than likely 80 yards and less in a lot of places I hunt. Um, and that's for deer. Uh, small game and birds, it's going to be less than that. People. All right, if we're talking about defense situation, this 18 inch barrel will do just fine up to 100 yards uh, with a bead. Now, if you have a gun that'll take a stroke and you want to push it out farther, be my guest. But you have to understand what the ballistics of your ammunition is gonna do at that range. A slug, in most circumstances, will match out at about 100, maybe 150 yards. Anything more than that, you're gonna want a better gun. Um, these are not the most accurate things in the world. They were never meant to be 100% accurate. Originally, they were made to, you know, you think of the old blunderbuss, put a bunch of stones and pebbles and whatnot into it, and a little bit of gunpowder in a flintlock system and at, you know, less than 20 yards, be able to basically shoulder your gun and blow a bunch of people off a ship. That was the idea behind a shotgun back in the day. Now, 
I'll say it's improved quite a bit. Slain is just a cheap $10 uh, Butler Creek, unfortunately made in China, I know. Slain, but it does its purpose and it has a decent amount of padding. And the nice thing about this gun too, because it is synthetic, right, it's light. I would, I don't remember the exact weight off the top of my head, but it's under five pounds. Um, very nimble, light, easy to carry. Um, and bang for the buck, I would say it's a good option, whether you're, it's your first shotgun or your 10th shotgun, I'd say it's a good option. You know, if you're in a house, you know, you want to get a couple of these for you, your spouse, and your kids. It's not going to break the bank to get, you know, let's say the average family of four. You're under $1,000 getting four of these. So, uh, not a bad idea, I don't think. Uh, trigger pull, we'll go over that quickly. Make sure the gun is unloaded. Safety off. Safe direction, and we will pull the trigger. So. There's your trigger. There is no play. So, again, the safety is off. There is no play. It is about a... Alright, a very slight, maybe a millimeter movement before the wall. And it's a pretty stiff trigger. Um, your reset. If I can get the... That's a pretty quick reset too. Um, stiff trigger, but... It works, train with it, and you can become pretty accurate with it and accustomed to it. Tape down is pretty simple if you're going to clean it. Run a bore snake through it, clean the bore out. And if you want to go further into cleaning the barrel and the other parts of the receiver, you unscrew the barrel from the magazine tube. Pull your barrel off, you can do any sort of more in-depth cleaning with that. And then you can oil and clean out your receiver. And this by itself, maybe three pounds. Very light. And then put it back together. You want your, at least for me, this was the easiest thing to do. Bring your uh, pump, your slide, whatever you want to call it, in the back position or the open position. And then tighten down your barrel. Check for function. And it works. So, Mossberg 88, good budget style shotgun, especially if you get the combo where it comes with the bird barrel. See you later.